Good morning, Dr. Ali, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. Let's start with the breaking news overnight. The New York Times is reporting that seven variants of the coronavirus have now been found in the U.S., all of them carrying the same mutation. Can you tell us what does that mean? So we're really trying to understand exactly what this means, but researchers are looking at something called convergent evolution. So all of these variants had the same exact mutation. Now that could just be a coincidence, Mona, but some researchers are worried that could this mean that the virus is getting smarter and adapting? You know, something like evolution where, you know, the virus becomes more stronger and more contagious and less adapted to being, you know, acceptable to what we have in our toolbox, such as vaccines. But I really want to stress this, Mona, that we don't have much data to really say one way or the other. And the vaccines that we have are right now effective against all the variants. So it's very important that people get out and get vaccinated and to maintain social distancing so we can prevent further copying of this virus, because the more this virus copies itself, the more chances we have for more variants to come about. Some states are lifting mask mandates. Mandates. Others are expanding indoor restaurant capacities. Do you think it is too much too soon? And it's very important because this becomes a slippery slope because people then, you know, lower the guard and they then take off their masks even. I'm getting reports. So this is really important because we can really avoid more infections. All right, Dr. Ali, as always, thank you so much for your insight and as always, your time as well. Thank you, Mona.